Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Looking for Ealing, Ealing to Union. Ciao Beppe, good to see you. Bro, tell me Ealing is not leaving. I'm doing uh, Del P in FIFA right now. Ciao guys, ciao a tutti, sorry that I was a bit late. Uh, I had a phone call um, and uh, I was absolutely not expecting to have a phone call now, but I was obliged to uh, answer. So that's why I am a bit late, but I was able to tune in to tell you that I would be late. So don't be too harsh on me. Be please don't be too harsh. Now, of course, all my preparation is gone and I'm a bit late with the news. So I will try to check the Telegram group later if there are some news and so on and so on. We will discover it because we have nine days to go. On the 31st of August, Mercato is closed. I have to tell you, I'm happy when the Mercato is closed because it's too long. It's too long. I want to see the game. You know, I'm happy yet. When was it? Tuesday, Sunday. I was happy Sunday when we saw our boys on the field doing a beautiful performance. This is important for me. That Mercato is something nice, you know, exciting for 15 days. If it's like three months, it's really long, especially in a moment like here where nothing is happening, apparently. But you know it, in Italy, with limited resources, and I'm speaking about the Italian movement, not only Juve, well, the teams are waiting for the last two weeks of Mercato to try to have the best possible deals. And that means that everything and nothing can happen in the last two weeks of Mercato. How many last-day signatures did we see? I remember Quagliarella, for example, arriving on the 31st. I remember so many players arriving really late, like uh, Moise Keane come back in the last days of Mercato and so on. Will we see someone arriving this season? I believe yes. I believe at least one new face will join Juve. Who will it be? Holm? Will it be Lukaku? Will it be Berardi? Will it be someone that we didn't even mention? Well, we have a few days to see. But uh, players will leave. And that's a fact. Players will leave. I believe one will join. So let me start immediately with the poll. Do you believe at least one player will join? Yes or no? As easy as that. Yes or no? In the last few days. Uh, and then we'll speak, of course, about Iling Jr. Because uh, at the moment, as I'm speaking, Gianluca Di Marzio is live. He's speaking at the moment. I'm not able to hear him because I'm live together with you. Uh, from the moment that we have some news, we will check. We will check. Let me say hello to all the people in the chat. Maric was the first one. Ciao, Maric. Uh, Iling out. Holm in. That's the comment of BA. Unpopular. Ciao, Bogdan. Grandissimo Bogdan. Ciao, Helicopter. Ciao, Punzara. Ciao, Giancarlo. Styler Z. Ryzen Cross. Uh, Sasha is there as well. Ciao, Sasha. With um, Beppe. Beppe. Ciao, grande. Ciao, Mufid. Good afternoon to uh, Takishi. Grande. Read Red Eagle, did you watch the game at least before saying that? Ah, Dusan and Locatelli have to go as up. Ah, okay, okay. That's why they are speaking about uh, about this. Okay. Ben de Goose, grande Ben de Goose. I was thinking Red Eagle because I had a sharp eye. Ciao, grande Jauer. Uh, they are speaking all. Everyone is uh, pissed off with the comment of Red Eagle. Eh? Ciao, Punzara. Ciao, Daniel Perone. Grandissimo. Emiliano Berardi. I'm curious. Emiliano Berardi, if you are still here, uh, are you the one that is pushing also for Domenico Berardi that is joining? Is Berardi you know, maybe your cousin, maybe your brother? Do you want him to join Juve so that if you put Berardi on your shirt, you have the same name? Uh, I tell you the truth. If there was a Bognani football player, the Bognani is my name, just Juve, it's impossible. But if there was a Bognani football player, even if it was the worst player on earth, I tell you that I would lo love Juventus to sign him. There is a, a Bognani football player. If you go on transfer market, I will show you. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. And uh, now I have to, to do it again. Wait, let me try. Uh, here we go with Bognani. That's my name, ragazzi. Don't forget that. Giuseppe Bognani. Oh, look. His name is even Giuseppe Bognani. Giuseppe Bognani. Fantastic player. The GOAT. The GOAT of football. Uh, <laughs> he's an Italian. Born in Mazzarino. This is actually where my father is born. In Sicily. So, Sicilian, pl Sicilian player. Mazzarino. 
uh, this guy this guy is my family i don't know him but i'm sure this guy is my family giuseppe bognani from mazzarino 33 now eh? didn't do a really big uh, a big career eh? went uh, to catania uh, a lot of sicilian teams canigatti geraci san cataldese Armerina now is at uh, Armerina. Anyway, anyway, I tell you, I would love to go for uh, for Giuseppe Bognani. He's the name. He's the name that we have to go for. Uh, ciao, Abai. Yeah, I'm late. I'm sorry. Ciao, Mikey Mazzarese. Now I'm running against the time. What happened, Cecilia? No, what happened? I was uh, on the. I received a phone call. Emergency meeting. No meeting. No, that's exaggerating. Not a meeting, but I received a phone call. Um, let me check who's there as well that I didn't say hello to. Ciao Steve Cano, ciao Nick, ciao Dragunj, ciao Marco Meola, ciao Matthew, where are you? Hey, let me come, let me come, let me come. Ciao Don Simon, ciao U Michele. Dom, sacrificing healing would be really crazy. We haven't informed all teams that could potentially be interested in a player like Kostic, like we did with Vlaovic and Chiesa. Okay, are we ready to start? We are ready to start. Ciao, Ron. Ciao, Omer. Ciao to all the people that I didn't had the opportunity to say hello to. So we can finally start, I guess. But first, let me say thank you to uh, Takishi that just offered a random men membership to uh, Abdul Majid. Thank you. Really appreciate it, uh, Takishi. Grande Takishi. Grandissimo Takishi. Ready, ready, ready. What do we start with? We start with uh, Ealing Jr. Okay. So... We have to understand one thing. In the initial ideas of uh, Juventus, in terms of Mercato, the idea was to work in two different ways. In two different ways. Having a possibility to work in a 3-5-2, but working on Mercato, trying to sign players that could make Juventus evolve towards a four-man defense. Okay? So from three men defense evolving to a four man. That doesn't mean that you had to play 100% four men, 100% three men, but you could do that. And that's why a player like Cambiaso would have been the perfect name in terms of being that rotational player on the bench that could enter in a three man defense playing on as a fifth on the left, as a fifth on the right. He could play in a four man defense in the left and on the right. So he was the... The Swiss knife, you know it, eh? what we are speaking about, the being the Swiss knife. He could play wherever he wanted. But the ideas were absolutely not to have him as the starter of Juventus FC 23-24. Because on the left, we had Kostic. On the right, we had a new name, that is Timo Wea. The problem, or can we call it a problem? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, by the way, our friend uh, Emiliano Berardi is saying, of course, I would love him. He's saying, I would love him on the team for sure. Hey, it's the same name, so it makes totally sense. Huh? Uh, I understand. I understand. No, so the thing is that Cambiaso, I don't know if you remember the video I made at a certain moment. We saw him arriving at the J Medical. And there is a fan that is asking to Cambiaso, will you take the number 27? And his answer is... Because he's not sure at that moment. He's saying, yes. Attenzione. 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 You know, it, uh, when you hear the music, pay attention. I don't know how to react. I am a bit shocked because I was not expecting it. Eh, 
am not sure. Are you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Juventus booked Morata in case Moiskin leaves Juventus. Attenzione. Attenzione. The shirt is ready. At least I don't have to go to the store and buy a new shirt. Mamma mia. <laughs> Morata tree. But why, what is that obsession with Alvaro Morata? Basta. I love Morata. Huh? It's not, I love Morata. Fantastic person. One of the most beautiful person on earth. Uh, has a beautiful wife. He has like 15 kids that are running around, always uh, wearing the Juve kids. He's in love with Torino. He's in love with the club. He did the beautiful things with Juve. But basta, 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 basta. Let's read. Let's read to understand. What, 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 Giuntoli, what are you doing? Basta. Let me read. Let me read. First of all, because I think that Moise can still bring something. But let me read. Juventus. Se esce Kin, bloccata, bloccato Morata. Soluzione cautelativa. Attenzione. Attenzione. If Kin leaves Morata has been blocked it is a solution a solution to mind your back to pay attention to not be unprepared what is the good news here without continuing to read that if Keen leaves you don't go for Lukaku you don't go for Lukaku but instead you go for Morata there are two different persons. There are two different players. Of course, the salary is not the same because Lukaku is asking much more. Morata is even earning more than Moise. Morata has always pushed to come back to Juve. Let me read. The eventual sale of Moise would oblige the Bianconeri to go on the market and look for a striker. The class 2000 has been requested or there was an information from Milan but the management of Juve blocked that request at the moment. This is why Juventus blocked again Morata to make him come back to Torino but as in the Lukaku Vlaovic deal everything will depend on Moiskin leaving. And what are the conditions that the Bianconeri would agree for him leaving? So at the moment, we are not speaking about an advanced talk. We are not speaking about a certainty. At the moment, we are speaking about a Juventus that is paying attention in case Mo Moiskin would leave in the last minutes that you still have someone that you can go really fast for. Lukaku is the first option, he's still waiting, he really wants to go to Juve, but in case Moise leaves, you probably don't have the salary that is unlocked to go for a Lukaku, you probably don't cash in enough to go for a Lukaku, and you go for the cheaper solution that is Morata. Morata that is already playing with Atletico Madrid, that has been taken all away from the Spanish market, with Simeone that is letting him play as a starter and so on and so on. So, 185 appearances from Alvaro Morata with the Juve shirt in all competition. 59 goals, 39 assists in the two different periods that he spent in Torino from the Spanish guy between 14-16 and 2022. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. I want your opinion because there are other breaking news that I want to read in a second. Uh, so comment me about that news. Chris Perotta, grazie for donation, my friend. Fino alla fine, forza Juventus. I have new songs that I need to put in. So soon you will have some uh, some new uh, songs from uh, from the supporters singing. 
because I found some uh, some really nice uh, new songs. But that I need to work on that. It will arrive in a few days. But thank you, Chris Perotta. Fino alla fine, I totally agree with you. Would you accept 35 million for Moiskin? For 35 million? Yeah, 35 million, yeah. Without blinking an eye. Even if I would be sad because for me, Moise is the player that I really believed he could do something. Uh, Uncle Sharma is mocking all of us with the amazing scouting of Juntoli. Well, uh, Uncle Sharma, if you arrive on the 7th of July and uh, your first hello from Juve is Ciao Cristiano, welcome. Your main objective is not to build a super team, but it's to save 140 million between salaries and sales. And the second objective that you have is going from 45 players to, depending, we don't know, we will have to wait, maybe 26, 27 players, depending if we are not playing a competition, going to 23. Well, uh, the scouting of uh, Juntoli will absolutely not work in season 23, 24. But from the moment that is, and also don't forget the scouting that he did for Napoli when he was working at Napoli, names a la Gabri Vega and so on and so on. I am 100% convinced that you have an agreement of confidentiality that the player scouted from Juntoli for Napoli probably for one or two years he can't go for them because they are kind of property of Napoli because he was scouting them for Napoli and not for Juve so no I would not go for uh, for that but then of course if you give me the names of Berardi of Morata of Lukaku even Lukaku if you give me the names of uh, all these kind of players well uh then we are going back to uh, 2017, 2018, and this is not probably what we are expecting in terms of excitement, especially when you have players on the market that are still a bit unknown, but Beppes, I was able to discover, like Mikko Datsy, that could be, could be there. So pay attention for, uh, for that. Will Morata come? Well, I, I never say that with Morata, I never say no, he will not arrive. Luckily, Zagnolo went to Aston Villa, because otherwise also Zagnolo is a name that is always coming back every single summer. When I told you that one new name would join Juve before the end of the Mercato, I was absolutely not thinking about Morata. Uh, Keen and Kostic for Olmo. Uh, Dottore, with all the love I have for you, this is more Calcio Mercato Fantasy League than, um, than real Calcio Mercato. Morata bigger than Keen. Okay, maybe we have to go with the question. Depending, of course, because he said it also Gianluca Di Marzo, depending, of course, of the, the value, how much we can go for them. So, choose Kin or Morata. You can go for we keep or you can go for Morata we take Morata or you can go potentially for I don't know Beppe it depends on the on the deal because for me both of the players are more there but they are two different players eh? I, do, I don't get it I really don't get it honestly I don't get it thank you Thomas the first one to reach 22 months on the channel Morata is welcome in my Juve unfinished business the problem that's that's actually the problem unfinished because the problem is that uh, Morata uh, it's not the most clinical striker. It's not the one that is bringing you the most goals. So sometimes, you know, when I'm looking at Morata at Juve, I had something like he should have scored more goals. If he's able to score, how much? We said 59 goals in 185 appearances. We are far from the huge big striker of Juve. Eh? No, and you try twice. It's a, it's a player that loves Juve. It's a player that loves Juve. We can't speak about the emotional link. Moiskin, we always have that question mark. Is Moiskin a player that is really professional, 100%? Is he a player that is always, you know, mentally focused on what he's doing? So we have a lot of question mark according to more the behavior that from Keen, which is... We can't, we can't speak bad about the behavior of Morata. Morata is an example to follow. Moiskin. But then we are speaking about ages. 
Hey, Morata is a bit older, he's 30, Moiskin is 23. We are speaking about the same gap of age than Lukaku Vlaovic. Now, let's see the hypocrites behind that deal. And I think about you guys. Huh? If your only worry about Lukaku Vlaovic was, eh, hey, but Beppe, don't go, don't go for Lukaku because the problem is that he's 30 years. And if we sign him, then we will not be able to sell him. And Vlaovic, yes, it's true, he's coming from 80 months that were not at his level, but he has a lot of potential because he's a player from the year 2000 and so on and so on. Let's see a bit the hypocrites behind you, because what are you voting at the moment? Eh, 50% are saying keep keen. Ah, okay. You are not that hypocrite as I thought. Huh? Great. Only 17% are going for Morata. No, actually, you are oh, you are not hypocrite. Only 17% are a bit uh, shaky, shaky here. Huh? I'm not pointing finger. Luckily, the votes are anonymous. No, because it's it's exactly the same. 2000, that's the year that Moise is born in February. I don't remember what day, but in February and in uh, uh, January, Dusan Vlavic. So they have a few days of difference. And then the two other players are 30. So if we don't want Lukaku for a matter of age, matter because now we all became financial guys and we are thinking about the money, the wallet of Juve, and we are scared. No, no, don't sell Vlaovic because if we sell him now, we may be missed for a big sale in the future. Why Lukaku? We can't do it. So I see that a lot of people, they are going for a Moise. Uh, wait, pay attention because there is my friend Cugino Eddie. Ciao, ciao, uncle. Grandissimo, uncle. Charma. I see a lot of uh, insiders today yeah, because they are scared again. Before going to Cugino Eddie, I see some people here in the chat. Attenzione, attenzione. They are a bit scared. They are a bit scared. They are a bit scared. I see uncle Charma. The voice of the English-speaking interfence. I see Martino, the voice of the English-speaking Milan fans. Uh, we are just missing Wayne for the voice of the Roma fans. That didn't start well, by the way. That didn't start well uh, with that 2-2 in their home. Uh, overrated team. Overrated team. They will never, never achieve top four. You can write it down. It's a certainty. You can bet your house. They will never do it. But today we have this kind of uh, insider. They are scared. They are scared. They are panicking. Juve, what is Juve cooking? Let's go to the channel of Beppe to listen. What is they cooking? What are they cooking? Max Allegri, Danilo, what are they cooking? Because they were impressed by Max Allegri. And now they are here. Because then they want to know what we are cooking so that they are sending a message to their clubs. I know, I'm not stupid. Huh? Cugino Yeddi, grazie per la donazione. Thank you for your donation, Cugino. My friend, my cousin, why bring in someone if we sell Keen when we still have Sule and Kayo? Plus, if we need, if need, we have Wea who can play up front uh, in USA. One on competition only. Let's break it down because we have other news. Huh? We have other news about Kostic, about Ealing. So that will arrive. Wait. But let's break down the beautiful message of Kujina that is thinking why. Well, Sule is a total different player as Moise. It's a player that uh, is not a second striker today. It's a player that really wants to play in that 4 3 3, 3 4 3, starting on the right side. A bit a la Di Maria Di Bala position, doing his tricks there on the right. Entering at max, he can also do that number 10. What is Sule missing today? The model that we are playing in that 3 5 2 that penalized him a lot last year. And he, he doesn't find space. When he's playing that 3-5-2, he doesn't have the necessary experience playing in the back to really do up and down. So he can enter few parts of the game when you have to unlock the game or maybe when you have a beautiful advantage. And probably that impact of Sule in first team in terms of character, of maturity, mentally ready to play in that team was not there. So Sule, I would exclude totally with Moise because it's... Totally different players in role, in in attitude, in what they showed and so on. So Sule no. And Sule is probably pushing to go somewhere else, to gain some minutes, to be one of the potential starters of a team where today at Juve he is not. What about Caio Giorgi? Caio Giorgi, I already said it multiple times. 
we missed him for 18 months if not longer but uh, 555 days we missed him and he will need a lot of time to recuperate i mean recuperate playing in juventus first team so you don't have the time and the possibility to bet on Caio Giorgi to replace Moiskin. You could have possibly keep Caio on top of the ones that we have, but that would have excluded Kenan Yildiz that Max Allegri spoke really well about. So Kenan Yildiz received that fifth spot in the team. Caio, it would have been a problem for him because what does he need, Caio? Caio needs playing time. He needs to be able to feel comfortable again on the field. He already spent like 18 months away from the field. Why? Kenan Yildiz can still play a few minutes there, a few minutes there. No, it's 18 years old growing while Caio really needs to play. And he will go to Frosinone. So physically, he's doing much better. He's back, but he needs time. Then, attenzione, because it's not over. Yes, Wea could potentially play in that position. The problem with Wea is that we are playing in the 3-5-2. We already have a lack of players on the right side because you saw that the one that substituted him was Weston McKenney. That is not his role. So if on top of that you take Wea from there, we are playing with everyone on the left. Do you remember last game? We played at a certain moment in the first half with 65% of the game, the playtime on the left. It was 17% on the right side. So if on top of that you are taking him away, we are totally lost. So... I understand the logic, I understand your message, and I really think thank you, but for me, no. Beppe the Goat, I agree. I agree with that message, beautiful message, and Omer is absolutely right. Omer Yildirim, I believe, from Turkey. Am I right or wrong when I'm saying from Turkey? Let me know. Uh, I believe yes. I believe yes. Uh, let me check if we have some other news. Uh... I'm sorry, Beppe, but I'm really tired of hearing Morata's name. No, you don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be sorry. <laughs> David Mirabella, Arnautovic is a real guy for the future. Hey. Arnautovic, oh, you're speaking about Arnautovic. I tell you the truth. I would not have say no to Arnautovic last year when he was linked to Juve. I saw the game against, uh, I don't remember who, from uh, in Monza. Arnautovic immediately immediately clicked at Inter. Huh? Pay attention to Arnatovic. No, no, because we are laughing uh, about the future. It's true that he's a bit older, but uh, attention. Can't believe times fly. Only one month remaining till our baby comes. Ah. Thank you, Punzara. Thank you, Punzara. Our baby. Punzara, with all the respect that I have for you, uh, I already have a son. I don't want a second one. But thank you. Nine, nearly nine months. Next month, we will celebrate the baby. The ba hey, let me know how you will call the, the kid. Uh, thank you for eight months together with us. Uh, we will speak about it uh, uh, in, in a second. Uh, Uncle Sharma is scouting Gigi's Juve. Uh, guys, I, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can't imagine how much I'm sweating. Team Mikau Dadze, he knows. Srikar, he knows. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. Uh, so give me one second. I'm going for a drink because it's really warm and I will address the fan so that it's going towards me and not towards the entire room because I'm sweating. You can't imagine. Pay attention. We have a lot of more news. Eh? Mercato will go hot this year evening so stay here stay here together with amir that just subscribed for six months ciao beppe happy to catch you live i'm not going away stay here
much better, much better, fresh. And now I have a bit of fan. It was too warm. It was really too warm. Um, start messages. Let me check who 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 I forgot. Ala Amam, grande Ala Amam. Thank you, my friend. My prediction: Sule Kostic out, Holm permanent, and Lukaku dry loan. Do you agree? If I agree that I'm happy with that, or if you think that if I think that this will happen, I believe Sule will leave. On Kostic, we have some news. On Kostic, we have some news. But I am blocked by the person that shared the news, so I will have to find a way to find uh, what he said. Uh, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find the tweet from Alfredo Pedula because he spoke about Kostic so that I can answer and in the meanwhile also reading his tweet. I don't find it immediately. Uh, there was just football that was uh, reporting it. Can you can you put it back in the chat? Your message from Alfredo Pedula. I'm trying to find it back. I don't see it immediately. Uh, and then we also have more news about uh, Lukaku, by the way. I'm trying to find Pedula. Yeah, I found it. But it's not about Kostic. Ah. Okay, I found them. At least one. There is the possibility, there is the possibility that Kostic could leave. The possible exit from Kostic is to monitor in these last days of Mercato. So I tell you a bit and I give you a bit the uh, point in the situation, in the situation Kostic Iling. I was starting to speak about it a bit earlier, but the problem is that um, then we had that news about Morata that was unexpected, so I had to change argument. So you remember when I was recapping and explaining you, Juventus decided to go with a Cambiaso that could have been the Swiss knife, left, right, in a three-man defense, four-man defense, so playing as five or four men on the left or on the right. But Cambiaso, that a tifoso, asked him, will you keep or will you take the number 27? He said, I'm not even aware. I'm not sure if I stay. If I stay, I go for the 27. Otherwise, we don't know. And that's what I was telling you. But he impressed Allegri, the technical staff, everyone, so much, so much that they said, oh, the guy is not only a Swiss knife. He is also, but he's not only a Swiss knife. Because he's able to give us alternatives that we didn't have. Kostic is a player that is highly appreciated by Allegri. And I have to admit it was the second best assessment of Serie A. He did a really beautiful season at Juve. But of course, a Kostic is also something that probably was more adapted to the last year's Juventus. Uh, Juventus without a lot of ideas. Without a lot of patterns ball to Kostic ball to Quadrado up and cross and inshallah and inshallah let's see who will be there if someone wants to go there maybe we can score a goal only one assist eh, from Kostic to Dusan Vlaovic we were all speaking about that Serbian connection Kostic we were all dreaming about so many crosses and so many goals of Dusan Vlaovic at the end one if not two two are the max the thing is that Cambiaso is offering something totally different in terms of movements and I already showed you that and you can clearly see it in that third goal for example his movements going more centrally 
with Chiesa that started on the left, he's him going centrally with Rabiot able to go into the in the box. The insertment of a lot of mezzalas that we were missing last year is also thanks to the movement of Cambiaso. Cambiaso that has that affinity of understanding when Chiesa is shifting to the left because Chiesa is playing that 3-5-2. I go there. I go in the middle. And there is... It's not a casualty that he starts over Federico, sorry, over Kostic in that first game because he deserved it in terms of meritocracy and ideas. Now, if Cambiaso, the Cambiaso that we saw, the Cambiaso that we saw because we just saw one game, official game, if this is the Cambiaso of one season with only one competition, Kostic is relegated in the second role of Cambiaso. Kostic is 30. Kostic can't be a second role. If you are playing two competition, you rotate so much that it's not a problem to have two starters there on the left. But the other problem is that you have still an Ealing Junior. And that's where we are today. <laughs> today we are in three men that are, especially two men that are there on the left, with the third one that is young and could possibly become the third player that could possibly also be a starter there. Thank you, Amir. Thank you, Amir. So, where are we on these situations? Juventus is thinking... If Cambiaso is the Cambiaso that we discovered and that we were not expecting, Cambiaso and Ealing Jr. are enough on the left. With, on the right side, Wea, and probably going for another fifth player, that is Holm, like we received in the message a bit earlier from Alahamam. Holm is a player that could be that change for second half for Wea. And tactically, you are there. Two starters, young, fresh legs, Cambiaso, Wea, Wea, the velocity, the speed there. Also, him can enter the box when he is a low two. And on the left side, you have a Cambiaso with these new movements up and centrally. Then you have Ealing Jr., fresh, young, Holm, young player arriving for the first time in a big team. And that's ideal if you're able to sell Kostic. Then Kostic, we didn't spend so much in terms of money last year for him. But the thing is that you will have to sp spend still. Or you will have to expect also, again, an offer for him that will not be huge. And that's maybe a problem. Because with Kostic, what are you doing? You are doing break-even. Last season, Kostic, we signed him for 13 million euro. Plus agent, commission and so on. Let's say 15 with only one year of Kostic, you're obliged to sell him for 15, to be break-even. And you don't help Juventus in terms of money. And you know that we are still on a mission to save some money with Kostic. So if you do Kostic, you're believing in your youth, but you also believe that you have to sell other players to cash in. If you go and sell Ealing Jr., that means at first you had no really proposal for Kostic or Kostic didn't want to accept them and you are freeing space on the left. But offer Kostic to the Arabs. It's easy eh, to say offer Kostic to the Arabs, but that's not how it works, the men. Uh, they need to be interested. One. Two. He needs to say yes. And if you come from Eintracht Frankfurt, you had the opportunity to go in Premier League last year to West Ham, you refused to move because you wanted to go to Juve, and you're at Juve, uh, then it's, it's tough, it's really tough.
One second. Hey, sometimes we receive messages, guy. Yeah. Sometimes we receive messages. You need to read them. Healing intoccabile per Ele. Healing untouchable. Healing untouchable. I agree. I would do that. Uh, I would do that. I would. Um, I would try to sell Costage and keep Ealing. I believe with Ealing Cambias on the left, but you have to go with the right, right side new player, and that's where we have Holm. That is still a possibility. Holm is a possibility. Let me check if we have more news from Di Marzio. There are no deals for Lukaku at the moment. Roma is continuing to look for a striker, but looks like they are on Duvan Zapata. And there are no deals, no transaction, no negotiation, no stalks for Romelu Lukaku. What about the Dusan Vlaovic Chelsea matter? Uh, there are no further uh, things at the moment. No more news on that one. Why? Because uh, they are not even explaining it, but of course, they didn't change the, um, the request. And Juve is just waiting for Chelsea. Juve is not moving. Oh, we can say whatever we want eh, about the Lukaku, Dusan Vlaovic situation, about uh, whatever you want to. But I have to say, honestly, that Juventus, two, three years ago, even last year probably, they would have accepted probably to lose a bit of money or not make some profit of Dusan Vlaovic to go for an idea. While today they said, we want 50. If you give us 20 plus Lukaku, it's not enough. On that one, I have to appreciate it. I really have to appreciate it. By the way, Rovella said that it was his dream to go to Lazio. I told you, and uh, you didn't believe me because you were crying, you were frustrated, but I told you that uh, he was pushing to leave because Allegri was really taking him into consideration, but he couldn't guarantee him a starting role because he said, yeah, you have to fight for your role. Then if you receive the chance to go in USA, but you, you are injured and it's not the first time, and then Juventus management are thinking, what do we do with him? Because we need to cash in, because we need to make space. Uh, but he was pushing himself. And if you have a player that is not 100% committed to the cause because he wants to play against Real Madrid in Champions League with Lazio, if he wants to lose 7-1 against Real Madrid, let him go, let him go, let him go. I will not cry over Rovella. And not even in two, three weeks when he will play a fantastic game. Because I'm sure he will play a fantastic game. I don't cry. I don't cry for him. I don't cry for him. No, I can't see. I don't cry. Uh, I don't know about you. But no, I don't cry. Then, uh, we have news. We have news. Attenzione. 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 We have news. There is a new team on a midfielder from Juventus. No, it's not Morata. We already spoke about Morata. It's 
Gazeta dello Sport that is reporting a news. A new offer for a midfielder of Juventus Also there, discussion point It's one that uh, I was against it But I may be taking my... Uh, my words back Miretti Fabio Miretti ya es seguido por varios clubes Mario Miretti has already the follow of a lot of clubs pero ahora también ha ganado interés el Lecce y no está excluido que el club recién ascendido pueda presentar una oferta pronto in Spanish translation from Gazzetta dello Sport Fabio Miretti that has already a lot of teams on him but uh, today there is the interest as well from Lecce and it's not excluded that the club will soon make a offer, an official offer for Juventus for the player. Uh, I believe it's on loan. Um, I don't know if it's uh, fake news because it's Gazzetta dello Sport or not. I really believe that... Uh, that there are uh, uh, some some real talks for Miretti, Miretti to Lecce. We need to make some players leave. We still are deciding between Nicolussi and Miretti. Miretti that didn't play bad. He didn't play bad in that first game of um, of Juventus against Udinese. But oh, we are speaking. Oh, we are speaking about the first half that was fantastic. We are speaking about the second half that was not great because Fagioli is not ready. He need that rhythm of football, but in that fantastic game, 45 minutes, Miretti was playing. Miretti was playing. So it's a really good player, but probably not a starter. And he needs to start. He needs these minutes. If last year, because we are speaking a lot about Aslani from Inter, great talent, great player. If we are speaking about someone that has 100 times the minutes in Serie A than Aslani. For me, it's a real talent that is ready to play with more consistency. Maybe a year without the pressure of playing at Juve could be good for him. So, Miretti to Lecce. And you keep Fagioli, why not? Lecce, that I told you, could be potentially a surprise if he goes not to Sarrenitana, but to Lecce. Attenzione. Uh, Hans Nicolus is uh, already a bit more experienced, already played in Serie A with other teams, even if he didn't play as many games as he wanted, but as Sarnitana, player that can play as a, also as the sub of Locatelli, and that's important, which Miretti can't do. Miretti can play a bit more offensive. If you're looking at last time again, uh, what we are requesting from Miretti is totally different than what we are requesting from Nicolussi. If you are going to the lineups and the average positions of Juventus, uh, look at Miretti. Miretti that went out at the 46. So look how high Miretti is. And last year as well, when we were playing that awful 3-5-1-1, he was also that second striker long, long time for a lot of games. So... It's a player that is more offensive than a Nicolussi that can play as a Mezzala and as a Regista. So for me, I would not have any doubt. I would keep Nicolussi and, uh, and give a chance to, to Miretti. My dream would have been to have all of them and to play Conference League. It's strange when I'm saying my dream is to play Conference League, but I mean, uh, if there was not a, no, no other choice. Wait, huh? I also like Miretti uh, was asking for the ball and getting into spaces. Yeah, yeah, but oh, 
Miretti, you, you don't believe me, huh? because I know a lot, there was a controversial thing about Miretti, but uh, Miretti, Miretti will have a fantastic career. He's super young, he's still 19. Uh, it's a player, I can promise you, that will have a huge career. Pay attention to Miretti. I think he will be one of the biggest Italian midfielder uh, of the new generation. Mind my words. Mind my words. In London, they are saying mind the gap. Here I say mind my words. Mark them. Pay attention what I'm saying you. Mm. What else? What else are we expecting from news? Because now we spoke about Miretti. We spoke about uh, Kostic Ealing. I tell you, Ealing, I would keep him. The thing with Ealing is that you will have to show that he gains minutes because his contract is ending in 2025. If he doesn't renew, and if he's not convinced to renew with Juve, eh, we could possibly have a, a small problem because then you, you, you let him go and you don't cash in for him. So we have to pay attention for that. Yeah, I'm waiting for the FC24. And then we will play. But I will do it on Twitch. I will do it on Twitch. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, do it now. I'm a fan of Hans Nicolucci since his debut for Stavros in uh, the season 18-19. He deserved a chance in the first team. I believe as well. I believe as well. A player appreciated also by Max Allegri. Yeah? One year of loan would, uh, for Miretti, would really benefit him. Beppe's wife is texting. It's not my wife. It's not my wife. I promise you it's not my wife. Uh, you are speaking about the too many players for just two tournaments, but you forgot about tons of injuries, which happens in the past two seasons. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. You are correct in, uh, in uh, mentioning the injuries. No, this morning I made a video and I spoke about one of the... Uh, one of the differences, one of the differences with last season. We started last season and we appointed a guy that is called Andreini. Do you remember about Andreini? Do you remember about Andreini? I will show you. That's this person. And in July, sorry, it was, yeah, it was in July, I believe. Uh, he was appointed head of performance. More responsibility to Giovanni Andreini. Uh, Andreini, that you can see here, you see it was in July, uh, is supervised. He was paying attention, so on and so on. We had a lot of injuries. And after a huge, big analyze of how we worked, statistics, and so on and so on, and because of all the problems we had, he started to move on the foreground. I spoke about it. It was in the month of December when he stepped in and he started asking new methods, way of training that are different, paying attention to this, paying attention to the details. We are not yet there. We are not there yet. And we will still have some injury because you have players from the, you know, it, uh, from the moment they start getting injured, it's more difficult to have them at 100%. But I have to say that the amount, and hopefully it will continue like that, but the amount of injuries this time are much lower than we had in the past. Because we are working on that, so we will still have some injuries. Makes sense. Also, because we are starting to increase intensity with players were, that were not used to play at that tempo. But I believe that uh, Andreini, Giovanni, we are already start to see some results. But the main reason is finance. And also the team spirit. If you are with... 30 players, for example, 28 players, a lot of them will stay on the bench. A lot of them will not be called up because you have one game a week where only 16 could potentially play. 11 starters with five bench players. And after a month, after two months, I can guarantee you that 
you will have some players and they can be as mature as they want. They can be as old as they want or young. I can guarantee you that they start really to speak. And this is not correct. And I'm a bit jealous and he didn't train well. He didn't train well, but he received a starting pot. And I'm giving my best and I'm not receiving any chance from this coach. Why is the coach against me? And this and this. So I think that it's... Uh, it's you can't just have 30 players in a financial difficult moment when you know that you play one competition only. Look at Chelsea. You have so many, so many, so many players. You don't know what to do with them. And even Pochettino said it. Huh? We have too many players. I need a team where I can work on. Sarri, exactly the same. They want to work with a right amount of players. Sarri... If he could, he could, he would train with a with a team of eighteen players. Eh? If that was possible for him, because he can go into individual, he can observe, he can work on them, he can be one on one with the players. While when you have thirty players, you can't. Uh, Buonasera, Suraz. What about Berardi, Antonio? Berardi, we have to understand uh, how far is the bluff of Carnevali in that double-page interview on Gazzetta dello Sport. Because he said Juventus was late. We gave them a deadline of 17th of August. They didn't give us any proposal. So, ciao, ciao. We don't sell Berardi anymore. That's what they said. We don't sell Berardi anymore. We keep Berardi because we don't have even the necessary time to go on the market for another player. They had another player in mind, but now it's too late. They want a 30 million euro where Juventus said, you know what, ciao, arrivederci. I made 100 possible calculation about Berardi, not financially, but because 30 millions, you know what, keep your player. I, you never hear about me. If you ask me 30 million for a player that is at 11 years in your club, that wants to leave, that is 29, that is waiting for the, you know what, you'd never hear from me anymore in your life. Ciao. Because you are doing, you are insulting me. You are really insulting me. If you are going to the cameras and you say that you want to help clubs like Roma when they are in need, it's your task. It's your task to, def to, to help Italian clubs like Roma. But then you're asking me 30 million for Berardi. Oh, you're insulting me and ciao, ciao. I forget about me. Is it a bluff or not? What will Berardi do? Because he will not play until Mercato is closed. Uh, will he continue to push? Asking to free him. They have a problem. Eh? If Berardi doesn't want to play, if Berardi goes into depression because he's a really emotional person, they have a problem. 30 million, I think we did right. But I made a lot of calculation tactically on the field. And on the field, I don't see Berardi. I really don't see Berardi playing at Juve. In a 3-5-2, forget about it. He can't play on the right, and that's where we need a player. If we go towards a 4-3-3, we don't have left and right back. If you go towards a 3-4-3, like I see Orion saying, Beppe, 3-4-3, why not? Why not? But then you're limiting a bit Cambiaso, a bit Wea, because you have a Chiesa, you have a Berardi, you have a Vlaovic, and you're asking two players to pay attention more to the defensive side than the offensive side. And with Cambiaso and Wea that are telling you clearly on the microphones that yes, they are on a journey to become better defensively, what they learned at Bologna and at Lille, but inside of them, that fire is burning for something else, is burning to attack, to go up. Look, the bad, it was a Anonymous, let's say anonymous game of Wea. Why? Because he's starting to adapt to Italian football that is totally different than in France. 
and paying attention in mentally to attention I can't go too much up because then we are leaving a gap and maybe because of me we will concede a goal and he was not really comfortable yeah of course you are doing it in USA in a friendly you don't care we play we go we, we run okay doing it against Udinese in match day one it's a totally different thing and Max Allegri said it from now on the games will count three points and it's a totally different story it's a totally different story Ryzen Cross, amico mio. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Allegri will ask him to have a haircut too. To who? Ryzen Cross. Wait, we spoke about Berardi. No, Berardi has short hair. Huh? Who was the one that we were speaking about Berardi before Berardi? No, I think. Who? Is it Berardi? No, I don't think so. Who is the next in line that could potentially uh, uh, be asked to, uh, to, to, to cut his hair? AJ, Berardi alternative to Chiesa in a 3-5-2. As a second striker, he could potentially play, yes, but not on the left, more a bit more on the right. But we have already Milik. If Keane is staying, you have Keane. You have a Yildiz. For me, it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense, according to me. Eh? I'm waiting for Rising. Ah, Rabiot! Hey, but you're laughing, ragazzi. You're, you're joking, you're laughing. But, uh... Rabio, you want to see? Wait, huh? I will show you something. Rabio, goal, Milan. Images. You see how Rabio is playing? Look at the hair of Rabio against Milan. Okay? Look, the Adam. Hair in the air. Rabio gol Udinese. You see? Milik used too much gel. Stays in place no matter how. Yeah, it's a, there There were some players like that. Their hair was not moving. There was a player, uh, you know him, but Javier Zanetti was like that. Javier Zanetti could do whatever he wanted. The hair was impeccable, not moving. Uh, there were more and uh, more players like that. Huh? But you see, yeah, I'm not joking. Huh? You see the difference between Rabiot Udinese and Rabio uh, Milan. It's funny, eh? With Sarri, with Allegri. Uh, no, it's not about hating the guys with more f hair than him. It's because if you go and you watch Iling, uh, Yildiz, when you watch Yildiz, he was doing like this every single second. It's true, eh? And these are the details that professional football, if, you're, if it's annoying, you cut them. Basta. Basta. Uh, Hams yeah, but Hamsik, yeah, Hamsik is another story. Hamsik is another story. Uh, how many? Pff, I don't know. I forget about how many language I speak. Uh, I hope Allegri doesn't suggest Pogba together. No, no. Uh, Let me check if I forget someone. Uh, Darius, cinque mesi, five months with Couldn't. Thank you, thank you, Darius. Couldn't Berardi play as Chiesa up front in a three-five-two? Um, he could, eh? potentially, he could, but it makes no sense to me. To me, it makes no sense. To me, it makes no sense. It makes no sense because you have already your players there up front. What it, you know what we miss? It's someone on the right side. It's someone on the right side. Not Berardi in a 3-5-2. And Holm or Castagne, I tell you. And that's what I said yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. 
to Romeo Agresti for me Castagne is a name that if possible I would still go for let's see what the papers are saying Atten mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia Corriere dello Sport attenzione This time it's Vlaovic that is naked. Eh, they, <laughs> it's a trend in Italy. Eh? Corriere and Gazzetta, they are doing the, the challenge. Who can put more players naked on their front page this summer? <clears throat> Lukaku Vlaovic. Rieccoci. Lukaku Vlaovic. Here we go again. Nine days to the closer of the Mercato, Juve and Chelsea are talking again. In Roma, there is the fever Romelu. Giuntoli is insisting. He wants to bring the Belgian player to Torino. And the English club needs Dusan Vlaovic. I repeat. I repeat. Corriere dello Sport were the first one to break the news about Lukaku to Juve. They never gave up. Voices that for the most were non possible, non existing. It was just. Pippo. It was just a fable, an invention from. A paper that had nothing to say but these voices started to be consistent and consistent also other papers starting to report it Gazzetta to Sport is furious to Tosport is a bit more balanced and saying mm, there is something there were some questions about that to Giuntoli in press conference and we can say that yes there were some talks between Chelsea and Juventus about Lukaku at nine days where the Lukaku voices nearly totally disappeared, they are reopening it, according to Carriere del Sport. And they are going all in with a big page. They are speaking again. They are speaking again. From the rumors that I heard, from the rumors that I heard, if Max Allegri financially needs to take a decision if they ask him okay financially we have to do something Kinor Vlaovic needs to leave he's believing more in Kin than in Vlaovic in terms of what he can bring to the team movements in the 352 rumors that I heard eh? I can't confirm you don't start to be angry with me Beppe don't throw me tomatoes and Lukaku I can tell you and I will repeat you I'm just speaking about what he can offer to the way that we are playing today he can offer a lot I would not do it I would not do it because I don't care about the finance, I don't care about the wallet, I don't care about whatever you want to. <laughs> hey, Nick, Nick and Styler Z, they have a fun eh? in the comments with the red emojis with the tomatoes and the thumb down. But um, mamma mia! But you know what I hate the most is when we are speaking about players like three years ago, Dybala. Uh, now we'll speak about, soon we'll speak about Ravella, Zakaria, of course, Kulusevski, Cancelo, uh, about, there are still people, they are still shocked about Coman, there are still people thinking about Coman, basta, basta, Dybala, how many times, he was difficult at Juve, the, the love story between Dybala and Juve was over, 
he was not performing because of injury he had an agent that was selling cars in Argentina he wanted more money he was not happy he wanted more money than Ronaldo he, he was he was not working and on the field and of the field he was a bit heartbroken he prefers to go to the Milano parade this is the reality ragazzi he was in talks already with Inter to try to find an agreement to put some pressure on Juve you don't want to hear it but this is the reality this is the reality I love Dybala, fantastic player, whatever you want to, but he was not working technically, tactically, in physical condition and even in terms of behavior. For a vice captain of Juve, a vice captain that is looking at them <coughs> and trying to say, I am Dybala, who are you? A guy that is going in front of microphones telling you I need to prove nothing anymore. Oh, ragazzi, yes, of course you need to prove something. This is the reality. Get over it. Coman receives a chance from Allegri in first match day. He's playing, they decide to sell him because they need to cash in. Ciao, it's over. Coman, fantastic player, beautiful career, a lot of time injured, but that's the real, that's the reality. Basta. Cancelo, financial deal for a player that half the season was a god on earth at Juve, half the season was not performing really well at Juve. Eh. And he, he matched better in Premier League at a certain moment with uh, with Guardiola. He's doing fantastic work with him. We received Danilo plus money able to go and invest that money on the Licht. You have to check at 360. Is it sad? Yeah. I understand that we have affinities for players. I understand that we are linked emotionally to players. I understand whatever you want to. But at a certain moment, basta. Get over it. The faster you get over it, better you are. I'm not crying every day about Trezeguet that finished his career, that we sold Roberto Baggio, one of the most, the best Italian players on earth. He went to Inter, to Milan, to Brescia, to Bologna. Oh! We are speaking about Roberto Baggio, not about Paolo Di Bala. There is like 100 different steps, difference between Roberto Baggio and Paolo Di Bala. I was a kid. I was young watching pa Roberto Baggio. Roberto Baggio. Ravanelli, Gianluca Vialli, they go away in other clubs. We stopped the contract of uh, Alessandro Del Piero, Trezeguet, Pavel Ned. You know? Oh. How many players? Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. Top three best players of the world. What are we speaking about? What are we speaking about? Mamma mia! And now you want me to cry about Coman? But uh, oh, ragazzi! Henri! Henri! Fantastic career! They, sometimes it happens like that. You don't click, you don't match, you go somewhere else. It's, it, and you do the best career in your life. Henri! Tevez two years and then he leaves, he could have stayed longer. The wife of Tevez wanted to kill him when he said that he would leave uh, Torino. She wanted to stay. Oh, it, this is football. Of course it's emotion. Of course, sometimes you regret. You say, it's a pity. Would have been better. He accept. He may, every single time we have one. Dybala. Basta, Dybala is not even playing. Mamma mia. Oh, hey, oh, Thomas, you're saying, <laughs> you're saying about uh, Berard, uh, Bernardeschi. I swear you, when he was doing uh, amazing, uh, grande, I love uh, the... Tot what, where is he playing? Um, Toronto. Amazing, Toronto. Wait. They, in the first weeks, some people here, they were crying. Eh? Some people were crying eh? about Bernardeschi. I promise you the truth. Eh? Mamma mia. Oh, it's true, Jim. I don't hear every single day people crying from Milan that uh, Pirlo went to Juve. And you know what's the worst thing? Pirlo to Juve opens a cycle of banter era. Milan and nine years in a row Scudetti for Juve. People are, were crying for Bernardeschi. 
people are still crying for Verati indeed, AJ. Hey, Verati, Verati, Verati. Mamma mia. Oh, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. Jeff, my friend, thank you for your donation, buddy. Chef is saying, uh, as an official Central Florida fan club member, oh, fantastic. Uh, sell Kostic, Sule, and get home from Spets. Yeah, for this season, this squad will be fine. You know, I tell you the truth. This is exactly what I would do. 100%. 100%. Thank you for the nation, Jeff. I would do exactly the same. And I... Oh. Chef said this team will be fine. He didn't say this team will win the Champions League. Yeah? So we have to also put into a... But I agree. That's what I would do. You sell Kostic. Sule. Probably you loan out Miretti on top of that. You took you take Holm for a cheap. Um, that's exactly what I would do. I would not go for Morata. I would not go for Lukaku. I would not go for Berardi. Tutto Sport page. Tutto Sport. Mondo Gimbo, by the way, for the Italian people, be proud today because also here we have a, a, a beautiful medal that we won in Budapest. Uh, it was a fantastic yeah? two meter thirty six jump. Fantastic. Vendikin poi Berardi o Morata. And here they are saying not only Lukaku. Eh? Attenzione, eh? attenzione, because here they are saying exactly the reverse of what I'm telling you since a few minutes. I'm telling you, don't go for Berardi, don't go for Morata, don't go for uh, Lukaku. And Tutto Sport, close to Juve, is telling you, attenzione, Kin could leave, and then you go for Berardi or Morata, and not only Lukaku. It's true, I agree with Amal. Players and presidents come and go, Allegri is eternal. Fulham with 40 million could start the Bian Mamma mia, 40 million could light up the mercato of the Bianconeri. They are speaking here about a lot of movements. Huh? I need to understand because here you have only parts, just small letters here. But they are saying Fulham with 40 million could light up the Mercato of the Bianconeri. Uh, that could make Vlaovic being confirmed. If Keen leaves, you can have a confirmation of Dusan Vlaovic. Atalanta is going on Holm, but Bo if Bologna signs Ealing, punto, punto, punto. What can we understand of this evening of life? We can understand that there are some decisions here. Vlaovic, Lukaku is a story. Vlaovic, Lukaku is a story. Kin. But if Kin leaves, then Vlaovic stays. And by consequence, Lukaku doesn't arrive. But if Kin leaves, you can have or a Morata or a Berardi. It's not a casualty that these two players, they also play a bit more on the sides, more than in the middle. Promotion of Kenan Yildiz, Berardi or Morata. L'Atalanta is going on home, but if Bologna is signing Ealing, and they are not saying loaning, they are saying signing Ealing, 
that would be really strange to be honest, but anyway, then Juventus could have the money also to go for Holm. Juve in azione. We need, you know what is the, I, you know what is the, the big driver there. We need, we still need recuperate some money, and we still need to shrink the team. Here we are not speaking about shrinking team, huh? because one goes, one arrives. Here we are speaking about financial consequences. Here we speak about finance. Sebi, eating bigger than Holm, yeah, but it's it's totally different. It's it's totally different. You you can't put Ealing and Holm in the same sentence. One is playing on the left, the other one is playing on the right. On the right you miss players, on the left you have too much. So makes no sense. Andre, we only need money and the right wing back. Why Lukaku, Morata and Berardi names are a thing. Because there are uh, solutions that can give you Serie A experience, that can give you immediate impact, that knows the coach, like Morata knows the coach really well. Berardi knows Magnanelli. By the way, oh, you're speaking about Magnanelli uh, really well, really well, really well. Uh, Magnanelli is a sponsor of Berardi, for example. Uh, so that's also an important one eh, to keep in mind. We have another news, huh? We have another news. We have another news. Chelsea, and in England, you can do seven loans. You can do seven loans. At the moment, Chelsea did six outgoing loans. If really on the 31st of August, you have no solutions, Chelsea loaning for one season Lukaku to Juve could be a possibility. They have one more possibility to loan out a player. Then. Kostic to monitor. Kostic and Ealing will not leave. Huh? Everything for Berardi depends on Juve moves in these final deals. Days of Mercato. Sassuolo, in order to replace him, has concluded conducted inquiries about Ndonje from Verona, Ngonge. Eh, also there, eh? you see, Carnevale is keeping Berardi out of the market, but then he's still looking for a player that is playing with the same characteristics. So I would absolutely not, for me, everything will happen. Uh, everything can happen, but I told you one player at least will join Juve. One player at least will join Juve. Pay attention, eh? Pay attention. Lukaku loan could be interesting. But I... <sighs> Who do you go for? You have a poll that I've just launched, Lukaku or Morata? I already answered that question uh, times ago, my personal choice. If we loan him from Chelsea, no, uh, then we, uh, then Vlaovic stays, I think, I think then I still need to understand uh, uh, how we play. 
Nestor Morata tutta la vita. I am not sure. I am not sure. I would go for the team that we have today. I would go for Lukaku. Honestly, eh? I prefer Morata as a person and I'm more attached. Magnanelli wants to play a 3 1 2 4. Uh, with Chiesa, Lukaku, Vlaovic, Berardi as a 4 and 4. You remember? Yeah, but I did that last time. A 4 2 4, it made totally no sense. Uh, it made totally no sense. The team that you are building with Berardi and Lukaku, for me, it's impossible. Oh, or you sell Chiesa and uh, Vlaovic, eh? then we can do whatever you want to. But if you don't sell Chiesa and Vlaovic, uh, and you keep them and you keep everyone and you add Lukaku and Berardi, it's strange. Look, I told you, the Mercato, you would not be happy. And I warned you so much. Uh, you were prepared on it, that you believed it or not, you were prepared. Uh, let's see. Ah, then I see, Ma, th th this is annoying me. This kind of propaganda about uh, here, Vlaovic uh, needs to stay. Uh, he doesn't have to leave Torino. Uh, give me likes now because I like uh, Vlaovic. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Basta, basta, basta. Try to think, try to think, to understand what is behind all of that. Mamma mia, what a disaster. Oh, no. Some reactions sometimes from people, I don't get them. I really don't get them. I'm trying to check if we have other more news. What is, did you see that? The president of uh, Spanish football kissing uh, the, um, the player from uh, Spain? was really strange. Uh, chaos in a uh, football world about Spain. Imagine Gravina, we win the World Cup, and then he kisses, uh, I don't know, uh, he kisses um, Locatelli. But probably would kiss not someone from Juve, but... Uh, uh, Marian is not happy. Eh? Marian is absolutely not happy. Eh? She's angry. What? Well, another player. How many players did they sign? Who's that? Who's that guy? Looks like Morata, the young Morata. They signed the young Morata. Who's that guy? A new guardian joins the rank. Yeah, okay, but tell me who he is. I believe it's Pellegrini. I believe it's Pellegrini, but it's not an Italian Pellegrini. Yeah. Welcome, Marco. Marco Pele. It's Marco Pellegrini, uh, Argentinian player from Platense. Pellegrino, Pellegrino, Pellegrino. Dago non vuole votare. Eh. We, we are we are close. It's a it's a it's a vote that is always close. Eh? Fifty two percent Morata, forty eight Lukaku. Grande Juve dad. Give me likes. It's one of my Twitter faces. It's true. It's true. I read and then I report. Daniel, we already know what Morata uh, can and cannot do, which is not much. With Lukaku, we don't know. He could actively, uh, actually positively surprise you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The field today. The problem, of course, is, of course, I prefer Vlaovic. But... I don't get it. I don't see. I don't see Lukaku joining Vlaovic staying. That makes no sense for me. I don't, I don't see Berardi joining Chiesa's thing. Because we are speaking about Vlaovic, but oh, these guys are crazy. Huh? Everything can happen in Mercato. Huh? Last day, Chiesa, boom, to, to Paris Saint-Germain. Berardi is there. 
Imagine. Imagine. Ragazzi, imagine. Imagine the scenario, eh? Are you ready for the scenario? Are you ready for the scenario? I will tell you. In the last days of Mercato, we do. We do. Ealing. Out. Holm. In. Vlaovic. Out. Lukaku. In. Keen. Out. Morata. In. Chiesa. Out. Berardi. In. I repeat, Ealing out, Holm in, Lukaku in, Vlaovic out, Chiesa out, Berardi in, Kin out, Morata in. <laughs> and this thing, if it happened, if that would happen, I would quit. Uh, worst scenario possible for Ben de Goose. Too much. Nightmare. The scenarios. Imagine <laughs> horror for Darius. Best scenario ever. Uh, oh, I know. If this happens, uh, seriously, I think that the the people they will uh, launch me really tomatoes like uh, Tad and Styler Z. Uh, Ag, I kind of uh, want to happen to see Twitter's reaction. If this happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's, it's over. It's over. People they are really in protest. They really in protest. Uh, imagine all of this in three days, Juntoli. And then you hear it's at the request of Magnanelli. Mamma mia, Twitter explodes. They want a Juntoli. They, they are praising uh, the new coach of Juve, Magnanelli. Uh, and then this happens. Juntoli making all these deals, not listening to Allegri, but going with the recommendation of Magnanelli. Boom, boom, boom. Mamma mia, if this happens. McKenny captain, imagine. McKenny captain. Uh, new captain. Magnanelli decided. McKenny. The new winger of Juve is captain. Thomas McClough, McKenny to Manchester United, Ealing to Bologna, Keane to Fulham, Nicolucci to Salernitana, Morata to Juve, Holm to Juve, uh, plus a surprise midfielder. McKenny to United? No. Ealing to Bologna? On loan? There is a logic to sell. Mamma mia. Oh, but Keane, seriously, eh? Keane for 40 million. If Fulham is giving you 40 million, I love Kina, but I bring it, I think I bring him myself to Fulham. Where is Fulham? Let's go with Google Maps. Google Maps. Fulham. Full Poker Club de Ham. That's in France. That's not this one. Fulham. Oh, it's near to Chelsea in London. How many clubs do they have in London? They could do a, a London league. No, Oh, I heard there was a kind of initiative, an idea. It will not work out. The It was an extra tournament as if the players were not playing enough. The Reds against the Blues or something like that. Or it was, yeah, something like that. It was City, Chelsea, Everton, I believe, against Liverpool... Uh, United and uh, Arsenal. So it was something like that. I don't remember the teams. 
like the best players of three clubs, three clubs, or, or five clubs, five, I don't remember. So the Blues against the Reds, and then they did a tournament there. Strange ideas, really strange ideas. I don't know how you can even think about these kind of things. Um, yeah, it's true, Antonio. Ciao, Igor. Ciao, Beppe. Please, small recap of what's going on. I was working. Igor. Small recap, I told you. I will, no, I will repeat. So, small recap of the evening. Ealing Jr. will go to Bologna. Holm will come to Juve. Vlaovic will go to Chelsea. Lukaku will come to Juve. Chiesa will go to Paris Saint-Germain. Berardi will come to Juve. Kin will go to Milan or Fulham. Probably Fulham. And uh, Morata will come back. That's a recap of, I believe, today. Yeah? I believe today. No, no, it, I promise you it was red against blue. No, it was not north against south. It was red against blue. Against blue. I hope you like uh, the the recap, huh? No, I'm joking. Just you know, all the possible combination. That, but that's what that's what we spoke about actually. Yeah, not all of them together, but ah, uh, um, uh, we just attenzione, attenzione. Attention, the news, the last one of the evening, I think. <coughs> Attention, there is one that is going away. Okay. Ciao, Cecilia. No, apparently, Lukaku is loved by a lot of people eh? inside you as well. But attention! No, it's not Gatti to Inter or to Napoli. It's not Bonucci to Inter. By the way, Bonucci, we didn't speak about it, but closer and closer to Union Berlin. No, it's not Kostic gone. But it's clear that he's gone indeed. That uh, will not wear the black and white anymore. Or. Yeah. It's a player. Bianco Nero, black and white, that next season will not wear black and white anymore. It's gone. It's over. It is Holm. Expected today a new meeting between Atalanta and Emil Holm's agent. Atalanta is pushing to close the deal for 10 million from Spezia on loan plus option to buy, which could become an obligation upon reaching certain conditions. Juventus are also interested in him. It's not a done deal, it's not a done deal, but Holm and Atalanta is closer than ever. When I'm saying it, uh, Bianconero is because, of course, Spezia is playing in black and white as well. Um, it's not a done deal, but exclusive news. New meeting between Atalanta and Holmes' agent. A lot of news uh, today. A lot of news. By Holm? I think so. I think so. 
Did I forget something? No. Is there something else uh, we have to uh, address before I close the, the live? We spoke about a lot of things, huh? Is there a, a, a last question? Welcome, Castan. They, they don't speak about him anymore. Yesterday I was pushing with Romeo Agresti. By the way, tomorrow I will not be live in the evening, but I will be back here with Romeo Agresti on Thursday, 11 p.m. Italian time. If I prefer Holm over Samarsic, Juvedad. I believe that today we need more Holm than Samarsic, but if you ask me about the player, I prefer Samarsic. I'm in love with Samarsic, but not just today because I watched uh, Udinese Juve or because he didn't go to Inter. No, no, it's a player that already last year, but I already told you. Huh? In the first voices, I told you this is really a player I really, really love. Uh... So, yeah, I prefer Samarsic as a player, but... Um, I believe we need more a player like Holm or Castagne, cheap players, but someone on the right. I don't want to go a season long with uh, West on, on the right. I don't want that. Bonucci, today he showed the video that he was still training closer and closer to Union Berlin, but he has to he has to find a team that is giving him also minutes, huh? otherwise it's gone huh, for him playing um, the last tournament with Italy. Oh, but you see the different narrative? Rama, because this is more Rama orientated papers, they are saying Rama on Zapata dreaming about Lukaku. Rama would dream about Lukaku. I had some voices from Belgium today that there was nothing between Milan, Rama, and Lukaku, but you see the difference? Rama would dream about Lukaku while we are saying no like he was a, a, you know, a random sickness or, or whatever. Yeah, it's, of course different but you see the difference of perception yeah but they want him on loan huh? then they want him on loan attention attention Oh, what is this guy? Ah, this is about the case about uh, Orsolini. That's something else, okay. Okay, this is for you. Uh, this is for uh, Dragunj. Dragon that became a member for the third month. Great recap. Made my two hours drive a breeze. You see? happy that you loved it the difference Beppe is that we have Dusan it's true Cecilia I know I know I know I know I know and they have uh, Abraham that is injured uh, if I look like this it's the same huh? I have extremely little eyes extremely little eyes you know the form of my eyes are really small um, Pepe do you know why Felix Correa didn't get a chance this summer yeah yeah because it's not good enough <laughs> I 
If Belov hey, 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 top scorer of Serie A, eh? top scorer of Serie A with two goals, eh? attenzione, eh? Uh, you know, unpopular opinion, last year, I would have, uh, if Belotti would have come to you, I would have, I, I thought it would have made sense, On lo uh, for free, from Torino, uh, player that at Torino did really, really great, huh? It's the birthday of Sharon. It's my birthday and you already made my birthday. Sharon, happy, 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 happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sharon. Sharon Caruana. Happy birthday, Sharon. I have nothing more to say. I'm just vibing now without uh, any. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm not tired at all. I made already my siesta. Oh, by the way, the video of today was really, really nice, really great. And I was super happy because if I'm not wrong, uh, the video of today is top I. It was top one. It was my best of the last 10 videos I did in terms of views. Uh, now it's top two. Well, top two is a great result. Huh? We already reached the 500 likes. Uh, average high, average time that the, view, the video was watched. So I'm happy that you appreciated that one. About Magnanelli and Allegri. Uh, here we didn't reach yet the 200 likes here. Not yet, but we will get there. Before we close, we reach 200. And Mufid loved the video. No, I, I really liked my own video. Uh, strange to say, but I really like it. The best wing back. <sighs> Whoa, that's really difficult to answer. Extremely difficult to answer. Uh, pa, 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 pa. I will give you in... Uh, I will give you... Look, Delivio, Angelo Delivio, Il Soldatino, the little soldier on that right side was one of my first um, experience of seeing a player that was literally playing on the line. There was, it's not possible to think about a player that was playing more wide than him. He was really playing on the line. Fantastic player. Uh, more offensive, more offensive um, Delivio. More or less the same time, of course, they also play together. You had Pesotto that was a bit more defensively, so it's a totally different player, Pesotto, than Delivio. More defensive, the other ones were more offensive, but Pesotto is scoring you that uh, Champions League final penalty, not the winning one, because that was Jugovic, but one of the penalties was Pesotto. Pesottino is still at Juve, by the way, uh, managing all the youth academies, a team manager. I really love the person Pesotto. Zambrotta was my favorite player back then. After Del Piero Trezeghe, eh? oh, oh. But Zambrotta was uh, really high in my esteem. Um, if I would have had money back then when I was uh, younger, I would have certainly buy a, a boat a t-shirt of that brother <sighs> probably two or three i really like that player but then he left in 2006 and that was over camoranesi great player fantastic player stayed with us also in second division uh camoranesi is also legend of the club so difficult to choose but if you are really speaking Technically, Zambrotta was strong. Zambrotta, Camoranesi, Di Livio, Pesotto. Really, skill-wise. Pesotto was probably the most intelligent of the four. Pesotto. 
Human Wise for me it's first Pesotto first Pesotto last Zambrotta it depends on how you how you watch things Fabio Grosso honestly at Juve didn't really do that wow eh? Fabio Grosso is known for his uh, that moment of brilliance with uh, Italy forever grateful but Who do I think made the best Mercato worldwide? Good question. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know, guys. I'm not... You know, this year, oh, even this year, you know, I said I will try again to keep, sure keep myself informed about, about Premier League a bit more, uh, what they are doing and uh, other leagues and so on and so on. I gave up immediately. Not that I'm not watching, and not because I don't like, but you know, I have a, a Juve channel. And I know that if I start speaking, if I create a second channel with what I'm doing, the pages, live speaking, I'm sure that I will reach, in half of the time, I will reach probably double of, the, of, of what we have today. Uh, but I believe I will sell in Italian, you say fuffa. It means like, uh, you know, you can't be an expert on everything. You can't. As a su Of course, as a supporters, you are watching a bit of everything. But if I want to represent the Juve channel and speak really about something, you, you just can't. You, you, you have to... And my days are really to, to understand, you know, like, you know, how, well, if you have a YouTube channel of Juve and you start watching all and everything and it's a melting pot of everything and this and this and this, you lose focus, I believe. You really lose focus because then you see, ah, Manuel is doing well. Ah, Manuel is the best coach. Oh, uh, why are we not playing this? What? And you, you are asking your questions and you go with frustration about other leagues and so on but you don't take the time to really understand the origin of the problem why we are in that situation you you are really going only at the surface eh, but if Danilo is your captain you don't understand uh, nothing about life and he's with his hand is in the pocket and then and he's speaking to the people the club is pushing because you don't really go in detail about what are we doing why are we doing this what is happening on the other side, if you go only with Juve and you are not open to watch other games and so on, then probably you don't pay attention to the reality and you can't compare yourself. So I believe you need a, a, a beautiful mix between watching others, but being an expert about all the teams in the world that did Mercato, I have absolutely no idea. I know, and also because, look, uh, Caicedo, Cancedo, Caicedo, Goes early. One day it's Liverpool, then it's Chelsea, then it's Chelsea. If I start following this kind of saga, I go crazy. Um, they went to Chelsea, good for them. Uh, Liverpool did, you know, with with uh, McAllister, beautiful signing, for example. Chelsea, I believe they will need really time huh, before it's starting to work. We really need time. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Bellingham is a fantastic signing from Real Madrid. I believe they will miss still Benzema, but it's a fantastic signing. But I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, you, who is the best one? Who did the best Mercato worldwide? Saudi Arabia, honestly, with all the respect, every single day they sign like five players. And uh, I don't know the teams well, you know, Al-Hilal, Al-Ali, uh, Al-Nasser. Uh, then there is another Al-Nasser. There are like two Al-Nasser. So I don't know who, who's playing with who. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Leverkusen in Germany. Could be. I have no idea. I know that the coach, of course, I know that they're playing really well. 
Dokutu City. Doku is a fantastic player. To City, I don't know. Gar Frank Garcia, Bellingham, Guler. Eh, but Guler, you see, you sign and then he finito. Eh, maybe, eh? not County, I, I don't know. Oh, opt-in. Kvara and uh, Ossiman staying at Napoli was the biggest win. <sighs> yeah, yeah, maybe. But Napoli, it's not... I, I was sure they would not sell, especially not Kvara. Uh, Ossiman, I don't know. They just won the Scudetto. They are in Champions League. I think if Juventus really stay with Dusan Vlaovic, with Chiesa, I think uh, Juve did much better than uh, Napoli. Because keeping Dusan, Chiesa, Bremer, extending Rabiot, extending Rabiot, uh, if you are able to do that without Champions League, with one competition only, with According to a lot of people, people that were hating Max Allegri, eh, because that's what 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 was what we were uh, hearing. Uh, if you do this, then I believe that Juventus is miles ahead in terms of difficulty level than Napoli. Uh, according to me, yeah. Eh, but Valentin Barco, I heard that he could go to a, to a team in uh, Premier League, no? That I liked, huh? Barco, fantastic player. Fantastic player. Brighton. Eh, Brighton, um, they sold a lot. But according to uh, the Zerbi, they didn't sell their soul. They sell the players, but not their soul. This is something that is not for sale at Brighton. Ah, you will go to Brighton. Eh. See? It's true, huh, Dragons? Mufid, he just said the best sentence of the evening. Buona notte, Beppe. Buona notte a tutti. Uh, I said I was not tired. Now I'm tired. Now I'm tired. And we see each other tomorrow for the video. Tomorrow, what do we do tomorrow? Video in the morning. Uh... Of course, we speak about the recap. Then when I read the papers, when I go and investigate, maybe if I hear someone or whatever, I can explain you a bit better uh, about the deals and what possibilities we can have in the morning video. Then maybe we'll do uh, something on, uh, on Twitch, depending. Let's see what tomorrow will bring. On Thursday, don't forget, 11 p.m. Italian time with Romeo Agresti here for the latest Mercato news and also starting to build also the game against uh, Bologna, of course. Ciao, Styler Z. Ciao, Serraz. Ciao, G. Just see you later. Aldo Bonazzo. Ciao, Camaboco. Optin, Mufid, uh, Andy Golding, Chef with an X. Ciao a tutti. Buonasera. Forza. Ciao.